The in-state rivalries that we have always bring out the best in our players. On the ice in those 60 minutes, you can see the excitement. You can see it from the bench. You can see it in whatever rank we're in with the fans. All three teams in Utah want to be the best. And I think it makes for such a heated rivalry anytime that any of those two teams step on the ice against each other. You know, you're you're really seeing quality product. So anytime that we're, you know, either riding down I-15 or we have an opponent coming up I-15 to walk into our building, we know that it's going to be a grudge match and it's going to be tough. Uh, you know, there's a lot of emotions flying throughout those 60 minutes, but it's passionate. Everyone wants to be the best in our state. And I think seeing that from all three quality programs that we have here, a lot of the players and coaches and, and even the fan bases embrace that. These guys aren't even skating. Let's go. Take advantage of this. Two on one. They're going to win that battle and get out if you don't go in quick. The rivalry in state is a, a unique animal on itself. Um, that rivalry with the outliers is, is a long-standing thing. We don't really feel like we have to say or do that much to get our guys, you know, focused in for those games. I feel like they know what's at stake. The Provo rivalry is, is a newer one, and I feel like it's something that's kind of getting some ground underneath the footing, and it's starting to become more of a thing. But the biggest thing when we play those two teams, especially the outliers, is regardless of what each other's roster makeup looks like, they're going to be really tough competitive games, uh, just because that's the way they've always been. So that adds some animosity to it. I mean. And obviously the kids follow each other on social media and there's always you know different little rivalries going on in games within the game but as far as you know that rivalry aspect of having that in-state you know with the outliers um, I think it comes down to fan bases we feel like our fans really kind of push us over the edge especially going to a place like Acord and playing them in their building you know we've had success against them this year in that building and I feel like a lot of that has to do with our traveling fan base and you know animosity they bring with them you know into a place like that it really helps us what? It's doing good. It's uh, almost made a full recovery. Did a grade two separation against Pueblo. Kind of a cheap hit. I didn't even have the puck and he came in and hit me in the shoulder and it popped. And next thing I know, I was out. The thought process going into especially those in-state rivals is to make sure you're walking out with two points at the end of the night. It's really, it makes for an exciting night when you take the trip down the highway and then you're able to come back with the two points. It's really rewarding just because of how challenging our group is as a whole. The approach doesn't necessarily change if you're outside of your own building, but it's definitely more fuel for the fire for the guys walking in and um, just based off of how passionate each team is and their fan bases, you know, there's always crowds cheering on all three of our teams. So anyone being able to go into anyone else's building and work hard to walk away with a win, whether it's one goal or three goals, it makes for a great story for our battle in Utah. Get the pucks down there and take Brian in front of that net. That's what we have to do here in the next minute to pocket one. Believe in yourselves. Let's go.